Hey guys, we had a lot of people out today, so I wanted to go over how to do um, the electron configurations from today. So first of all, on the worksheet, 1 through 4 are going to be energy diagrams, 5 through 13 are going to be full electron configurations, and 14 through 22 are going to be shorthand notation. On 1 through 4, we're going to be using this diagram from your notes to figure out how many orbitals to draw. Each orbital will be a square, okay? Set that aside for now. So on the first one, which is hydrogen, you're going to look at hydrogen's atomic number. Hydrogen has an atomic number of one. So we now, according to this diagram from your notes, that the 1s orbital fills first. So we're going to represent that by a box, and we're going to label it 1s, okay? And since hydrogen has one electron, we're going to represent that as an arrow, and then the electron configuration from that is 1s1, okay? And you continue to go in this way. And the next one on your worksheet is lithium. Lithium has three electrons. We're going to reference back to, again, this diagram. Okay, and on this diagram, 1s comes first, then 2s, then 2p. Okay, since we have three electrons, we're going to draw the 1s, we're going to draw the 2s. And lithium, three electrons, we fill the first energy level first, so we're going to put one arrow up, one arrow down, sorry, those are hard to see, and then we're going to put one arrow in the second energy level. For its electron configuration, we're going to say 1s2 for the number of electrons within that box, 2s1. These uh, numbers should add up to the atomic number of lithium, which it does, and you continue to go in that way. And then according to Hunt's rule, we're going to put one arrow in each orbital, one electron in each orbital before we pair them up. You notice I made a little mistake and I wrote 3s before I drew my box. So my 3s box is a little bit further up, but I'm going to count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 electrons. And that's all 11 electrons sodium has. And it's going to be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. And those numbers add up to 11, which is sodium's atomic number. I want you to do number four on your own and see the next video for full electron configuration.